D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So I'm coming at you. I'm recording this uh, late tonight. I'm recording this because I got a bunch of stuff to do tomorrow, Monday. Um, but I just finished the fourth episode of The Last of Us. And I have to tell you, I want to be honest with you, it was kind of a, a, a little bit of a letdown, you know? <clears throat> Pardon me. Only because, like, it wasn't a bad episode. It was just a little, like, I don't know, kind of like a nothing burger, in my opinion. Just because, like, there was no action. There was, like, one action sequence in it. And I was expecting, I'm not going to lie, I was expecting a little bit more. You know, last week we had the Bill and Frank episode, which was, again, if you want to go and check that out, um, it was nice. But at the same time, it was just very, like, you know, not very like zombie-esque you know and the same thing with this episode i was expecting to see something more than what we got in saying that i'm not saying it was a bad episode it just wasn't it was just very like a non-starter like the whole time i'm just like when is something gonna happen and then the final scene happened and i was like oh that's it okay i guess you know so <clears throat> And as somebody that didn't play the game, I can see how the game would be more exciting because, you know, you're running around with your little character or whatnot and, um, and you know, you're bang, bang and everything with stuff and you're trying not to get the, the clackers to notice you or whatnot or the clickers. But I just want to say, like, I was, I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit um, disappointed you know, in this episode because I was, I was expecting more. I'm not going to lie. Like, last episode was very, like, moving and but it was very slow in my opinion and this one did not you know kind of amp it up you know if you get what i'm saying if you get what i'm saying if you don't get what i'm saying it's totally cool it's not that big a deal i just you know i just wanted more and for somebody like me who hasn't played the game i'm just like was this supposed is this like a big deal in the game because i just um one character in here i did look it up she was made up for the game and i'll talk about that when we get to it but I just, again, um, I wanted more. That's my biggest thing about this episode. So I'm going to stop yapping and get into this breakdown. I'm going to try really, really hard not to take too much of your time, you guys, because I always say that, but then I take like a half hour and I'm like, oh, Matthew, get on with it. Um, but before I get started on this, I just want to say, if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine, we keep getting shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you in advance. All right, so now that I got that out of the way, why don't we go ahead and get started on this breakdown. So it starts off with Ellie, and she's looking in the mirror, and she's she's getting her gun out. Sorry, I kind of like, and she's all like, bang, bang, and she's all like looking at herself in the mirror, which is very reminiscent of like a child. She takes out the bullet. She's looking at the bullets. You know, she's like loading it, she's cocking it and everything, um, which she does everything right. Like she she unloads the bullets and then you pull back the trigger um, to let that bullet fly out. That's how you do it in real life. You want to make sure there's no bullet in the chamber because there will always be if you pull that and there's a clip in it, there will be a bullet in the chamber and everything. And she gets that out and then she's able to cock it and then she can pull the trigger without it firing because the bullets are not in it. Uh, I mean, she can fire it without anything coming out. And so she's all, and she like does this eye thing. She's very, it's very funny, like cute or whatever. I thought, it, and she, I love how she smelled it to smell, see if it smelled like gun smoke or whatnot. So then she's getting ready to go. And so she walks out and here is Joel and he is siphoning off gas because, and I didn't know this, but apparently gas, if you let it sit for too long, it breaks down and you don't get as many mileage um, out of it as you normally would so I was, I was like oh that's interesting i didn't know that so he's siphoning uh it out of here and she's like how does it work and he's like trying to explain she's like you don't know how it works and i don't know how that works either but i'm all like i mean it works so then um he's all like uh he sits here and she pulls out this this she's like all right that's it you're getting it she pulls out this book of puns and i don't remember all the puns i only remember the one about the diarrhea don't ask me what they are um i don't remember and it doesn't even matter puns are i find oh, excuse me it's a little bit late right now me filling uh but it, it's um i i like puns uh because they're like dad jokes you know and dad jokes to me are funny because i'm a dad but anyways but the puns are good so she's all like he's like you can go sit in the truck and everything so 
they 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 head out and you can see all these cars and she's all like she's talking about how there's a line of them and he's all like well, yeah they used to put um oh what are they called the shovels big shovels on their tanks they're not shovels i just don't remember what they're called and she's like i want to see a tank he's like don't worry you will and helicopters and all that stuff so while she's in the back she finds a cassette tape of hank williams she's like here this is more your era and he's like this is before my time kid but it's a better it's a good direction um hank williams is okay i'm not really huge into country but you know i like some country stuff like dolly Parton or or willie nelson or anything like that then she finds a dirty magazine and this is like it's so funny because it's like a gay magazine but it's like and everything he's like uh what and she's all like Oh, and she's like looking at it and she's like, why are some of the pages stuck together? And he's like, um, and she's like, I'm just messing with you. And she throws it out of the car. And I was like, you should have kept that. You can maybe you could barter with somebody if uh, you know, I don't know. So you got all these uh these like these buffalo out here. And I wonder, and I have questions about the whole thing. And I want to ask you anybody that's played the game if you can answer my questions. But first question, and you can answer it, is does the the fungus infect animals because these buffalo they just seem like they're just sitting out here just just hanging out like hey i'm just a, being a buffalo and everything and i'm just curious as to if they if the uh if animals are infected just as much as humans are i would assume that they are so they're just driving you know free range kind of thing which i was like that must be nice not having to worry about you know uh other people on the highway and so they're driving and uh and so I can't remember what they talk about, but he's like, all right, that's enough. And so they pull out and they pull into these wooded areas and they, 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 first off, I knew this was ravioli right, right there. Now, I just want to say right now, I used to eat Chef Boyardee ravioli all the time, you guys. Like it was it like, I still like think it's like so delicious, right? But then I saw this like TikTok. It wasn't a TikTok at the time, but I, it was some kind of like video or whatnot. And it was this woman and she was like cutting them open and she was pulling bugs out of her mini raviolis. And I was like, never again, never again. Plus it's really not good for you, the crap that they put in her because he's all like, she's like, what are we eating? He's like 20 year old Chef Boyardee. And she's like, it's delicious. And he's like, he's like, yeah, it's really good. And I'm like, yeah, if it's 20 years old and it's still freaking good, that means that there's something in it that probably shouldn't go in your body. I'm just saying, <laughs> Uh, but it is. I used to love. Uh, I used to eat that stuff like all the like. We're talking like almost every day. Anyways, okay, sorry. So she's sitting here and she's all like, "Aren't we afraid that the, 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 the people will get us?" And he's all like, "No, um, you know the 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 infected don't come out this far. The only thing we'll have to worry about is the other human beings." And she's all like, "Oh, okay. Oh, because of the fire." She's like, "Can we start a fire?" And he's all like, no, she's like, because he's like, ask me why. And she's like, right, let me, uh, you're going to, I'm going to tell you no. And do you know why? And she's all like, uh, because, you know, the infected will see the smoke. And he's like, no, they, they, they're too stupid to, to see the smoke and they won't come up this way. Um, other humans will. And so she, she's sitting here and, uh, she says a pun here and he gets it correctly. And she's like, ah, oh, you, you cheated and everything. And she's all like, um. Are you are you going to be able to hear him coming up on us? And he's like, yeah, and everything. And then um, she's also like, uh, I can't remember what else they say here. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. But then he is he like she's sleeping and he's awake. He's awake watching because he's all like, maybe I won't be able to hear him sneaking up on us kind of thing, which I would be the same way. So the next day he is making coffee and she goes to check it out. And she's all like, Oh, what is that? And he's like, you don't like coffee. And I'm all like, uh, you have to, you have to leave her now. If she doesn't like coffee, she's not human. It's she's definitely one of the infected. If she's not, if she doesn't like coffee. So then, um, he's drinking coffee, obviously, cause he's tired from staying up all night. And she's all like, it, it smells like burnt hair or something like that. And he's all like, He's like, uh, it's delicious. So she's being the navigator here. I just want to say real quick, because later on it's a problem, but I just want to say, me and my twin brother, we used to take road trips and stuff. I am an excellent navigator. I can read a map like nobody's business. I would have, I would prevail in the navigating uh, uh, scene uh, during the apocalypse. I just want to say that. So she's trying to, so they're talking about Tommy. 
his brother or Tony, Tommy. And they're talking about how when before they, he ended up in Boston, that they were, he was a part of Fireflies and he was part of, a, you know, groups and he did things that he didn't he didn't want to do. Like, you know, uh, and then finally he went on him and Tess went off to Boston. And Tommy went off and the last place they heard was a, a tower in Wyoming. And she's like, oh, it's going to be forever to get there. And I can't remember the rest of the stuff that they talk about, but uh, she's she's all like, I- I'm not tired. And then she falls asleep. And I'm like, huh, that's funny. So then they pull over because they're on the highway, but it's been blocked by a truck. Now, I just want to say that it has been blocked by a truck and you can totally, somebody, somebody did this on purpose. It, they had to have, like, that's crazy. Um, You know, there's only so much you can chalk up to um coincidence. You know what I'm saying? So he looks in the tunnel and the tunnel is perfectly clear. So there's no like, like nastiness in there or anything. It's just been blocked. Me personally, I would have tried to see if I could move that truck, you know, but obviously he's not going to do it. So then he's like, he's like, all right, screw it. And she's like, they're looking to see how long it would take him to go around. It would take too long. So he's like, screw it. What we're going to do is we're going to get off the highway. We're going to go on the side streets and try to get back on the highway through another on-ramp. And they're going through this city. And I think they said this was Kansas City. And she's not reading the map right. And he's all like, get off of the highway maps. And she's like, she's like, I can't. It's got me discombobulated kind of thing. And I'm all like, yeah, you don't know how to read a map. And she's like, I've never read a map before. And I'm like, yeah, I can tell because you don't know what you're doing. So then finally she's like, stop. And oh, they go past this pile of uh, burnt bodies, which I'm all like, you can see like a little baby in there. I was super sad. Or a little kid. And she's like, stop. And you look over and she's like, is that the QZ? And it is. It's like the quarantine zone of whatever city this is, right? So then she, so then they're all of a sudden they 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 look over and there's this guy and he's like, help, help. And he's like, put your seatbelt on. And they he just goes forward, which this guy is completely okay. This guy above throws a brick on their thing. They run into some um of the what are these these things that pop their tires, and then they crash inside this place. And then they they're getting shot out, getting shot at. He gets his gun out and he tells L, Ellie to L to go into this hole in the wall over there. Cause he's like, I can't fit, but you can fit in there. He's like, go inside there and don't come out until I tell you to. So she gets inside this hole right here. And so he shoots one guy. And then the other guys are like, ah, oh, you mother. And he goes to hide and that guy comes through and he's all like coming through. And then he ends up getting shot. Uh, by. Joel and then this guy come Brian comes through the back and he attacks him and he's got him on the floor and he's choking him out and she's all like she gets out her knife at first and then she gets out the gun and she shoots him and he's all like oh gosh he's like he's like my mom's close he's like please don't kill me he's like my mom is close I can't feel my legs yada 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 and he gets up and he's all like he's like I got a knife take my knife and he's all like uh give me the gun and he's like go get back in the hole do not come back out and he's like no please don't go and then he kills that that Brian guy he just slicey dices him and he's all like uh hey let me in so he she moves this desk and lets him in through this door so then there he's all like we need to we need to move uh because obviously people are coming so they they end up do they do come they got the summer and this truck or whatever and they they go through and they get through this 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 door right hold on i i went too far this door right here because he's like we need to get as high up as we can so we can see it find a way out so then uh back at the like headquarters of these people and i can't remember oh, i think in the game i think i read that they call them hunters they're just bad people in the world and i'm like Bummer. I'm like, you'd think people would try to come together to stop the infected, but no, no, they're just uh, being mean to everybody and anybody that comes across. If you're not a part of their group, you're uh, you're out of luck. So then this woman, I don't remember her name. She's questioning this Docker guy and she's all like uh, she's naming off some people. And one of them is Henry. And she's all like, you know where Henry is. And she's all like, uh, lawyer, medical attention, family visit. And she's like, is this the stuff that you you gave to people when you were in here? And he's like, this has to stop. And she's like, oh, now it has to stop when you're on the other side. When other people were dying and you were safe because Fedra was keeping you alive and everything. This is a, a, the same kind of thing where my brother was beaten to death. Now it has to stop because you're in the chains. 
He's like, I had a gun to my head. And she's like, all right, now that I've, you know, have made the same factors that they had for you, why don't you go ahead and tell me where Henry is? And he's not going to tell him, but I just go, how important is Henry? Like, I don't know who Henry is. I did look it up before I came on here. He is a part of the game, but other than that, him and his brother, Sam, which he shows up later, that's all I know about them. I don't know anything else about them from the game. And I and this woman, I did look her up and she is just made up for this show. So I was like, that's interesting because I have no idea what they're going to do with that. So then we get we hear a, a horn honk because he's all like, he's like, I, I, I get, you know, I delivered you, you know, I took care of your family and everything. You're going to kill me kind of thing. And, uh, and she hears a horn honk and she comes out and there's these, these, these guys, they are, they are not alive. And she's all like, um, who did this? And he's all like, I don't know. Um, I think it was just some randos or whatnot. And she's like, Henry might've called them in to help him out. We need to find him and find him now. So she goes in and she ends up shooting that doctor. Um, so they, they go down and she's like, you need to don't stop. Just look at it. Uh, just go through every single place you possibly can. So he's in here and she's like, are we safe in here? And he's like, uh, for now, there looks like they're going through just apartments. And so he's all like, as soon as we don't hear any trucks, we're going to get out of here. And I can't remember if this is, I don't think this is the part, but I can't remember, but we're just going to go over it right now. So she asks him at one point in time, if I think it's later on, but I'm just going to do it now. Uh, if, if he did what those guys, he's like, how do you know that that guy wasn't hurt? And he's all like, because I've been in on both sides and you do what you got to do. And then she's like, did you kill any? And, and then she, he's all like, he's all like toner. And she's, she says something about how that killing that guy wasn't or shooting that guy wasn't her first time. And me, I just go, mm, I bet you it's somebody important that she shot the first time because they got infected. I bet you. So um, later on, he does ask, she does ask him if she, if he, shot killed innocent people and he doesn't answer which he's like pauses and then he doesn't answer and i'm all like that means yes that means yes if you if you have to if you pause and then you don't answer that means you hurt you hurt innocent people and he did you know he did anyways so they come back forward and he's all like uh she's like do you find do you find him and he's like yeah so they go inside here and they go all the way up and they get into this attic and she goes up there and she finds cans of food and then these drawings of a superhero. And I think that's to show that Sam, yes, yeah, Sam is, is Henry's little brother. He's like a little, little kid. And he is, he's like way little. And so she's like, they're out of food. Get uh, double guard our provisions, our food and everything. Um, and uh, yeah, he's like, so I got to show you something else. So they go down to the basement, right? And they open up this. And they see this little sinkhole, right? And she's like, ah, oh, crap. So you get this big, huge sinkhole. Now, me first, I was all like, I don't know what that sinkhole means. I don't know if it's a thing in the game, but you tell me if it is. And then some like water, hold on, water drips on it. Hold on, I want to see if it, it plays it. Uh, Just give it two more seconds. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. And then it moves. And she's like, ah, oh, crap. So they like shut the door and and it happens. Now, I think what this is, is I think next episode is when we get those ones. If you remember in the trailer, I'm going to pull up a photo real quick. But if you remember in the trailer, this happens where the all these guys are coming out from this hole. I think that this is that. It's just a big sinkhole with a bunch of uh, clackers. And then this big thing, which I found out is called a bloater, which I'm not quite sure what they do. They're just big and fat and everything. And I'm all like, ew. Oh, I got to get off of this. This is making me itch. That's making me itch. I do not like the clackers. They like make me itch. Or the clickers, the clickers. Um. So then this guy, he's all like, when are we going to tell people? And she's like, soon, but not now. And he's like, seriously? And she's like, "We, I promise. We'll, we, let's deal with this. And then we'll tell everybody about this and we'll get everything ready. So he doesn't do anything about it. I would have been like, yo, we need to tell people ASAP. We can't keep this a secret. You shouldn't keep secrets, especially in times like these. You know what I'm saying? So then they get uh they he gets her up here and she opens the door very clever. And there he's like, he's like, all right, we're gonna go up. And she's like, How far are we gonna go up? As long and he's like, as long as I can last. And she's like, ah, old man. 
And this is where she asks him about the innocent, hurting innocent people right here. And he doesn't answer. And I'm like, oh, that means yes. And, and then so they get up, they get up to the 32nd floor, I believe they said. And they're in an office building, not in an apartment complex. And they, and she's like, come on. And he's talking about his knees. And I was like, dude, I totally hear you. My knees are aching all the time. Like I've started running every day. And I'll tell you right now, my knees are not uh, working with me if you get them same. So they break into this office building. She sets up cushions, which I was like, oh, go you. And then he sprinkles the glass so he can hear people if they like crunch, 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 you know, when they sneak up. And she's like, what are you doing? He's like, we'll be able to hear him. And she's like, are you going to be able to hear him? He's like, yeah, I'll be able to hear him. And she's like, well, I noticed that you haven't, uh, you can't hear out of your right ear very well. Did you get shot? And he's like, or it could be from me shooting a whole bunch. And so, um, and then she tells a pun and she's like, how uh, did you know that diarrhea is genetic? And he's like, what? And she's like, because it runs through your genes. And I was like, that's funny. I get, I mean, like, and, uh, and he laughs or whatever. But before that, he goes, uh, he goes, hey, El, uh, he goes, hey, Ellie. Um, hey, El, when you said you shot some, that wasn't your first time. Who was, what, what was the first time? And she's like, I don't want to talk about it. He's like, fair enough. And then they do the whole hearing thing. And so uh, he falls asleep. Because, oh, they laugh at that pun. Because it's just so funny. I was like, eh, it's not that funny. I wouldn't laugh like that. She wakes up and she's like, Joel, Joel. And he wakes up and, um, hold on. He wakes up and I need to get a good shot of it. So he wakes up and. And she's getting up and then there's Henry. That's Henry. And then he turns and then there's there's the little kid, Sam. And I was like, oh, man, I was like, they got he listed his little brother. But I was like, I guess, you know, it makes sense because you're in the apocalypse kind of thing. Everybody's got to go. And then that's where the episode ends. And like I said before, it's not that I didn't uh, I, I didn't like it. The episode because I did it's just it was very for me personally it was very anticlimactic like I was waiting for more you know like I was waiting for something to happen something more actiony and it didn't happen and I think that that's a negative for the show um just because I just like for me personally I just go why am I going to keep coming back to this show if you're not going to keep giving me something? Like, literally, I feel like this episode didn't give me anything. Like, the last episode wasn't, you know, good in terms of, like, apocalyptic zombies, but at least it gave me a heartwarming story. This one did not do either. No action. I mean, very little, a very little action scene. And then no heartwarming story. Like, we got to see these two connect a little bit more. But other than that, I mean, so, you know? But I just, like I said before, I want a little bit more. All right, one thing I want to ask you guys a question from the game is, okay, so can the infected sense Ellie as an infected and they won't mess with her? Like she could walk into a crowd of infected and they'd be like, oh, she's already got the virus so or the fungus, so she's good to go. We don't have to mess with her. Or would they attack her like a, a regular human being? Like do they sense her as one of them or as one of us, you know, as a non-infected? Um, I'm curious to know what the answer is to that. I mean, I'm pretty, you don't have to answer me if you don't want me to get like spoiled in terms of like, because they address it in the game. But I was just very curious while watching this. All right, you guys, that's my breakdown on my review and my thoughts on this episode. Uh, you know, I, like I said before, uh, I just, I want more. Next episode, there has to be a good action sequence, like a big one at least, like a, like a pretty big one, you know? Um, and tell me about that sinkhole, if I'm correct, like in the game, because I never played the game. Like, do they burst out of there? Because I, I feel like that's like a, there's like a hive underneath there and they're just like like hibernating. And as soon as they get uh, a whiff of, uh, of uh, non-infected people, they're going to be all like, it's party time, you know? All right, you guys, that's what I got for you today. Tell me what you guys thought about this episode. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you mention it. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next breakdown and review of The Last of Us. You guys have a good week. Bye.